Welcome on the Deadwood Jedi. We went sans hat today as we were streaming Dragonair Silent Gods again. Uh, I've been absolutely enjoying this game. It's, you know, had over 10 million downloads in its first month and hit like the number one spot in over 10 different regions. Another Western fam- fantasy mobile RPG game. You can find it on iOS, Android, Steam, Epic Game Store, PC Client, Mac Client. All you got to do, hit the link down below in the pinned comment and description of this video download it for yourself i do recommend it. it's a lot of fun they've been having these collaborations with dungeons and dragons uh, uh you know one of the the number one tabletop board game in the world which inspired dragon air and uh same kind of thematic stuff going on in it and uh it's a, it's a lot of fun it's just a lot of fun it's been it's been really fun to play it so definitely recommend giving it a try uh we were streaming it today and we had a lot of fun so check it out enjoy If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss the next one. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing today? He's out here doing some grinding. Doing some grinding. Grind, grind, grind away. Well, look, hey, guys, everybody. Thank you for being here. Welcome. Uh, We are streaming Dragonair. Uh, Dragonair is a pretty darn fun game, I must say. It's a uh, obviously a mobile RPG game that you can play on PC, get it on Steam, uh, Epic Game Store, iOS, Android, all that fun stuff. Uh, Mac, PC, I think I said those already. But it's a uh, you know, fantasy RPG based off of or inspired by Dungeons and & Dragons, and they're in a collaboration with them. I recently was able to get Drizzt. I know there's a new champion coming uh, at some point pretty soon. The new season starting pretty soon as well, which are both exciting moments for this game. Uh, season stuff is pretty interesting here. They do a full like reset of your gear and uh, stuff like that. So it, kind of an interesting thing to keep the game fresh. The, uh, the attributes, the affinities all start changing and swapping around as well. So it keeps it definitely a fresh kind of game, but uh, this is pretty fun, you know? Uh, I've been enjoying it quite a bit recently and we're hitting a point now where my advancement is stagnated a little bit. I got some things I need to do. I need to rank up some guys that get better gear. A lot of grind ahead of us here to get to that next level, but I'm feeling pretty good about it because the every day I can see the improvement of my team. I can see the development, which is very exciting. That's kind of where we're at right now. Uh, I do did get some Heliolite dice, so I might buy some, uh, might try getting some, uh, some fresh champions here in a little bit. Whether I want to use them or not is a different question, but I think that's something I'll be grinding for. Right now, this is one of the big bosses. So we're trying to get through that guy, see if we can't get higher and higher levels. Doing pretty good. Made some changes. Built up Tonalon. Really good, uh, for this. Built up most of my champions. I don't want to bring in another, uh, there's a couple other damage dealing potential champions I could bring in too, but right now I'm pretty happy with this this squad. You really need better gear though. It's actually one of the things that's holding me back, I think. Is better quality gear. Let's see how much damage we're getting done. These guys are doing pretty good. Tonalon's doing pretty good here. I also feel like maybe I just need a better support team. Like I like him. Uh this guy right here. He's really good. Oops, sorry. This guy's really good, uh, but I'm not sure about my other healer here. And I kind of feel like with the strength of my team right now, I need healers. I need two healers. Look at that. 5.7. That's good. Uh, feeling pretty good about this team. Feeling pretty good about it. Sounds good. Eric and Tonlon together will do massive damage. Well, I mean, I have both of them kind of kitted out right now. Could I, but, uh, could I take out Sigrid and put one of them Yo, up, and put in Tonlon? Would you do anything different with my team right now? I guess is my question, right? Uh, all right, DG, hop. Up. Let's let's do it real quick. All, all right, right, so look, let's get let's get on topic real quick. Uh, I want to give you kudos. If I was here, being like, "Hey, bro, do this, do that, do that," blah blah blah, you did yeah. exactly what I would have done. This is the team. You've got two decreased attack champions. You've got your damage combo. You've got two healers. Very solid. But okay. um, <clears throat> so. Um, your decreased attack champions, and I and I watched you do this. You are trying. You are going for the alternate. 
one, yeah. you know, one and then the other good. Um, I actually figured out something. Uh, you know, I can imagine, especially as someone just starting out, uh, that you know what you're doing. You had the bright idea. I mean, I'm going to rotate these decreased attacks. And you immediately went to see, most people would immediately go to see, well, what attacks do I want to make sure that they have their decreased attack up for? You know, mm -hmm. a second AOE, blah, blah, blah. That's actually not the way to do it. The TLDR on how to do it, you find which one can cast the, the quickest, their, their initial cast, and you set it up for that. Then you do exactly what you did. You set uh, the second person up for their initial cast exactly 10 seconds later, yep. and, then just put, and then just put them on a 20 second rotation. That's someone. That's what you didn't do on yours. So it was pretty, it was pretty close. So I just figured it wasn't going to make a huge difference. But I suppose after a few of these runs, uh, the the man unsync. of of min maxing timings and and skill usage in raids, like yeah, it's close up. God, yeah, you're so enough. willy nilly on this game. <laughs> now they need to be yep. exactly twenty seconds. At that point in time, they will fully cover all the time. Now there there needs to be a timing coupling going on between your damage dealers and your defense down champion does does any of these champions have the crown on yeah i have it on fork uh fork fork for bath for bath yeah for bath yep the crown um, all the defense down champions in here all the defense down champions in here if you, even though there isn't any defense down champions there technically is it's multi-hit ultimates gotcha so really your crown champion should be erich he's gonna five hit with my even if you're under on the accuracy he's almost always going to place it it just hurts the damage though i don't know not wanna... really what hurts the damage is i ain't seen the damn defense down up not once since you run this run that really hurts the damage uh, that's a good point that's um, a real good point uh, i run erich i'm i'm 25 mil plus on the vortex 4 i mean granted i don't have all the legendaries and crazy that everyone else does but it, it it's it, it is what it is i guess Right, right, um, right, right. Also, keep in mind of animations. So, Tonalin and Erich just both launched their uh, their ultimates, uh -huh. uh, which means even if Erich did have the decreased defense, yeah. um, Tonalin's doing his ultimate at the same time. There's no time for the de decreased defense to actually land. So, I so want to give him a little them. delay. Yeah. Yep. You want to give them a little delay and put them on a rotation, which luckily the Vortex is on a 20 second rotation. So, easy just yeah just put them on a 20 second rotation ah here's all right so here's something that you're gonna love something that's right up your alley from raid that attack right there that lightning that lightning strike yep that is an, uh, an enemy max hp single target attack mm, interesting so fur bath needs to have all defense no hp but he still has to have the highest hp or he won't be targeted understood that makes sense yeah, okay. I think I think I have a mostly defense focus, but that makes a lot of sense. All right, now I've got one more tip. Um, that this is something I've recently done, and it, it bumped up even my my quote unquote in game team up three million damage from doing it. Just like you've got the decrease attack on rotation. Yeah. There is um, actually this might not apply to you yet, poor guy. Um, there is a a set called three ears whatever. It's the blue set, um, and it's a legendary set. Sure. So the blue foot skill haste set, three piece set, is gives um, fifteen percent increased attack to your team for oh, ten yeah, seconds. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've seen that. I don't have enough pieces. So for it. yeah, you need two <laughs> sets of you need two sets of those for your team. And Didn't honestly, for it. a team like this, if you can build some nice damage for Sigrid with accu uh, with accuracy. Mm -hmm. Um, put it put it on your other rotational champions. So like if you had two champions that were rotational for heals or buffs or whatever. Right, 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 right. So yeah. keep that so where you can get 100% uptime also. So uh, if you can get your decreased attack champions on um, a nice rotation, set up your crown and your damage dealer, make sure that you have a low HP, HP tank or uh, yep. lightning call tank, and then getting out two of those three piece sets up there, that's min maxing the shit out of your damage. Um, yeah. Let me see, was there anything else? This is this is still a theory, but unless you have very specific champs for it, AKA Ogok and, and some of the other immortal, super crazy, you can't kill my team champions, survival 
long-term survival isn't the goal. It's really packing it, in as much damage as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm getting that, too. At 150, it has the same mechanics as the Raids clan boss. Uh, it hits through all that crazy. So even they even have a mechanic in here saying, yeah, you're, you're, we're not going to let you just survive forever. There's no Crisk. There's no Corpulent Cadaver. You ain't just about to survive. Ooh, there is ally protection in this game, though. I haven't done I, nothing with it. There's like a set it. with it, right? Good point, my man. Poison? Uh, no, I just didn't. I didn't add that to my to my clan boss guide type thing. Yeah, no, you need one of those sets. So you need two of the blue sets and one of the green shield sets, because and you probably want that. Like I could see Hexandra being the green shield set to help break off some of that damage. Because to be honest, once you have the your defense balanced out, which I've just seen your whole team go down, so you might want to crank up their defense a little bit, oh, yeah. especially with Tonalyn. But yeah, putting it on someone like maybe Hexandra and then maxing the crap out of their defense, um, mm -hmm. it, it will really help your team stay alive that extra rotation or two. All right. Well, this definitely seems like the, the fixed person team because it's the best damage I've done so far. Yeah, but, yeah. Right. When I came in here and seen you doing it, I was like, ooh, I want I want a piece of this. All right. First off, let's look at the let's look at the timing, right? So yep. uh basically twelve seconds to start. So we can just do twelve and twenty. Done, done. Yeah, set them, set them at exact. You know what I mean? She's already at twenty, so that's not an issue. Well, so. she's at, she's at, uh, still set them because you, anything can happen, and you need to put her at twenty-two. Yep, and gotcha. then set her at twenty. Uh, now your team is pretty set, but I found that I'll be like, I'll have that same thought. Eh, it's good. It's okay. They're close enough. And then by the end of the fight, you realize that you lost, like, which, you know, you waited five or 10 minutes to get through. And then you're like, oh man, if that decreased attack had just came a second earlier. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's look at the gear now. I think it's the next part. So, Furboth, right? Can I make a suggestion here? Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, go get everyone else's builds together because you don't know what your minimum HP is yet. Oh, okay, I got you. All right. Well, we can look at Hexandra. Now, what was it we wanted here? I Actually, don't... the Eisen Eisenhower in the chat might have a good point here. Depending on your what champions you have available, it might be better to put a damage dealer in that slot and just try to cram more damage in. Because heals are pretty much, with especially with Furbath in there, is pretty much useless for majority of the fight. For mm. majority of the fight, Furbath is going to be able to heal up your whole entire team every and second. Like like you were saying, pack damage in over pack everything else. There, yeah. Okay. Well, so we we might actually want to look at what other fire and poison champions you have. Um, I have him. He's not fully leveled up though. Um, but he's it, pretty good. If poison. we can, uh, what if we can find another decrease attack champion? I don't you have could another fully, decrease attack. Okay. I would say I, you could fully build out, you know, a um a sacred for damage or something. Well, I mean, I have. Well, no, I have. Uh, <laughs> first off, not much difference. <laughs> I don't I don't have a lot going on, right? She's got my only attack chest. She's got crit rate gloves. About as good as it's gonna okay. get. Okay, okay, I, I right? feel that. I feel that. I mean, That's... to be honest, the team looks solid as is. I, 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 I it, it put a little shine in my eyes because I was like, right. man, I know as soon as he can dig his claws into this clan boss, I, I'm gonna have him hooked. He's gonna yeah. be on Dragonair, and I'll be able to play with him all the time. <laughs> this is my best this is my best build here like damage wise i think that i have then... there's a rule of thumb that i've been rolling with um yeah. i don't really exact i haven't really tested it much but most people in the community most of the other cc's been here since you know beta they pretty much say if you can't get 80 to 85 percent crit rate don't run crit rate go ahead and just bump them blast that attack now erich bro you got to throw erich in the in the in the, the crowd you got to throw him in the crowd. Right. Kind of sucks, but you can do that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The end goal is to have the crown and the legendary version, which is which is remains, and you run those mother. Ugh, God, it's so hard for me. Not to you run those like um, on rotation, like you do attack the decrease attack chain. Uh. All right. Uh. So what do you think? Better to keep the crit rate twenty seven percent crit rate or sixty percent attack. Uh, I mean, uh, for who is this, Erich? Yeah. Well, what what vortex are you on? I don't remember how much accuracy you need. You might want to bounce back uh, to check two. the scroll. Two. I only need like a hundred accuracy. 
Oh, uh, okay, okay. It doesn't matter, um, it's Eric. He didn't land anything, so it doesn't matter for him. Well, he, he needs it for the crown now. You need accuracy to land it? Oh, yeah. it, doesn't, it doesn't just land on its own? No. <laughs> no, it's not, a magic, it's not a magic wizard. Well, I know. And, w- and with him having five hits, oh, and that is definitely, I would consider your priority number one artifact to level up to 20. Most definitely. Sure. That'll be okay. next on my list. Right. He's like, eh, let me. Oh, but you know what? You can do your favorite thing to get a level. You can pull yep. some champions. <laughs> yeah, that was fa- favorite thing to do. Yeah, I'd probably run f- high attack until until you can get solid uh, solid crit rate. Check your um, artifacts for me. Do you have the music box? No, I don't think so. You should definitely grab that on your next epic dupe. It's the uh, it's the the crit damage glove enabler. It gives okay. you tw- it gives you uh, once maxed out. It gives you thirty crit rate. Got you. I don't have that. Um, and when you get it, throw it on Tonalin because he already comes with thirty crit rate. Oh, Tonalin tw- comes with thirty crit rate. Ten, ten in his stats. Fourteen in his stats. I'm sorry. And then tw- uh, twenty on his uh, passive. All oh, right. Yeah. And yeah. So you you'll crit you'll you're, that'll be your first person that you'll throw some crit damage gloves on once you get the music box maxed out. That makes sense. Yep, yep. I kind of want to put crit rate on him now, but I guess that makes sense to just stick with this. I mean, to be honest, yeah, I would. Because just add 20 to whatever that is. I bet you can hit the 85, no problem. The 63%. I don't know. I can get there. I can get there. It's all right. We're just going to... We're just gonna. Ro- oh, well, 63% plus the... Yeah, actually, that does rock it. Um, also, the best damage set is the set that's, that Hexandra has gloves on right now. The electric lightning bolt. Um, it, uh, whenever their ultimate bar is charged up, they immediately get a thirty percent damage increase. Yeah. All right. So you're so at sixty-five plus age- twenty. You're at the eighty-five. Yep. I think we nice. dropped their HP low enough. Um, um. Now. Now you're an early. You're an early vortex. So I don't really know what the number is, but I know by the time you get to vortex four, everyone, including your damage dealers, you want about two thousand defense on. Okay, I, that is not happening today, so that's fine. No, no, no. That's that's vortex four. Like, like honestly, you'll be there. You'll be there soon enough. I'm excited. That somebody is. I. Uh, hey, you might be. You might be trudging through the the fields right now to do all the hard work for it. But damn it, I'm telling you, there's a light at the end of that tunnel. All right, all right. I believe you. I believe you. All right, we're gonna roll with 90 crit rate. Or 90 accuracy. I can't. I don't think I can get higher than that. That should, that should be fine. Yeah, that, that's the beautiful part of the multi-hit um, ultimates. Oh, here's something else. Uh, again, this hasn't... I haven't completely verified this. Like, it didn't come from the developer's mouth or nothing. But everyone's saying, you know how Raid has its 3% chance? Yeah. This game has 10. Okay. So, even if you've got no... Accuracy, so, it's got a 10% chance to land you. You're saying big F you to this game. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, I mean, that makes dude, sense. no, no, you're, you're, you hit the nail on the head with that, bro. There's many a times where I'm like, I got 360 accuracy. Why are you not landing every single time? And it's, yeah. or actually, no, that to actually tends to come up on my resistance builds. I've got a couple of champions that I resistance build for some of the in game bosses, and they hit one stun. Now all of a sudden, I have to actually manual an ultimate one time, and I'm like, oh. All right, I think I gave my primer, and if I stay on, I'm just gonna keep ranting and talking and you know clogging up the airways. I'm 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 not gonna lie, I I did stop listening a little bit ago. Um, That's cool. I'm I'm, I'm just pretty much interacting (laughs) with the the chat at this point. I know, I know, (laughs) I knew you were, so I wasn't worried about it. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you all you hanging out. Once again, remember you can get Dragonair Silent God yourself. Just hit the link in the pinned comment description of this video. Uh, to download Dragonair Silent Gods today. It is number one in over 10 different regions, had over 10 million downloads in its first month of viewing, inspired by Dungeons and Dragons and having collabs with Dungeons and Dragons where I got Drizz to Erden on the way. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's an incredibly good game. It's a you know Western fantasy themed mobile RPG, right? Uh, and you can get it on pretty much every platform you want, PC, Steam, iOS, Android, etc. cetera, uh, Epic Games Store. Um, but it is a blast to play, a lot of fun. So I definitely recommend you guys check it out. And uh, till next we meet, I'm the Deadwood Jedi.